Hello and welcome to the water sensor tutorial. In this tutorial, I will show you how to connect the sensor to the Arduino board. We will also connect an LED so that it will light whenever the sensor is touching the water. We will then program the Arduino and after that we will test the system. Okay, so we'll begin by looking at the sensor. This is the water sensor. And as you can see, it has three pins. It's got the negative pin positive and a pin called or labeled S. The negative pin will be connected to ground. The positive pin will be connected to the five volt output on the Arduino. And finally, the pin labeled S will be connected to A zero on the Arduino. This will be our signal pin. We will now connect the sensor to the breadboard. And then we will extend wires from the breadboard to our Arduino board. Next we'll grab an LED and connect it to the breadboard. Now we grab a 220 ohm resistor and connect it to the LED. One end will be connected to pin 13 and the other end will be, will be connected to ground. Next we wire the sensor. The S pin will be connected to A0 on the Arduino. The positive side or the positive pin on the sensor will be connected to the 3.3 volts on the Arduino and the negative pin will be connected to the ground pin on the Arduino. Okay, the wiring is done. So now let's connect our board to the computer and go to our sketch. Okay, so this is our sketch. We begin by defining our pins. So, so we connected our S pin from the water sensor to the A0 pin on the Arduino board and we connected our LED to pin 13 on the Arduino board. In the setup, we, we begin the serial monitor and we set up pin the S pin as input using the pin mode function and we set the LED pin, which is pin 13, as output Again using, the, again, using the pin mode function. In the loop, we, we will first read, we will first take the readings from the sensor at different levels, so we can set, so we can know which value corresponds to the water just touching the sensor and which value corresponds to the water touching the middle section of the sensor and which values corresponds to touching the top part or the top section of the water sensor. So we will begin by just taking the readings and sending the readings to the serial monitor. So we will upload the code. There we go. It's been uploaded successfully. Now let's take the reading. Let's start the serial monitor. Okay, nothing is happening. Nothing is happening because the water sensor is not touching anything. And now, Gonna bring a glass of water. 
if I don't spill this. If I don't spill this. Um, okay. And I will do this. Okay. So the water is just touching. The water is just touching the bottom of the sensor. Approximately. Can you see this? Just touching the bottom of the sensor, and I'm getting a reading of approximately 400. So anything below 400, the sensor is not touching. Now, if I go all the way to the middle, approximately to the middle of the sensor, I'm getting approximately 620. And then if I dip it almost all the way I'm getting six I'm getting a 660 approximately Okay, so after a little bit of tweaking, uh, so I've decided that the bottom of the sensor will read anywhere from 10 to 400. And the middle section of the sensor will read anywhere from above 400 to approximately 650. And then anything above 650 we will consider it to be the top section of the sensor. So we will upload this new code and I'm gonna start serial monitor okay and the first message I get says that water is not touching the sensor or the sensor is not touching the water I guess I take my sensor and very carefully I'm gonna dip it in my glass of water and here we go and now we've reached the bottom a bit more and it says we've reached the middle section if I dip it even more we've reached the top section I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial thank you for watching I'll see you next time thank you